Eric Mwadith, Mwadith.com, for the weekend of June 18th, June 19th, 2016. Let's take a look at markets here. Markets are off the lows with about an hour and a half before the close. This is how around where the market might close at the end of this options expiration week. So let's take a look at the charts to see what we might be considering as we go into the new week. Take a look at the Dow on the weekly. And of course, we know that the market did come back to test the RSI highs line on the Dow. And as we know, this has been a challenging area for the market over the last couple of weeks. It's been coming to this level here and showing resistance throughout all this period. So that's one layer of resistance and the other resistance line goes back to this break point which brought the market off the highs right there so we've been drawing a line from there which has also been resistance so as long as we are seeing the weekly charts struggle to move above those two lines one continues week to week to expect that markets move lower yet if you take a look at the daily for the Dow here is where the market could make a stand and it's a simple line that connects the RSI lows like that so this line has been instrumental in the market take a look at this level where the market made an improvement on the RSI here while prices made fresh lows and since then of course we know the market has recovered off the lows of February so this line has been instrumental, the same line is now coming back into play as you can see. So as long as we hold that line, one can expect that the next swing trade is to the upside. This level on the RSI also corresponds nicely with this entry here in the RSI after this movement. We see that that corresponds with the price coming off the lows of 2016. So we know that this was a critical level. We can use that information by drawing a line like that. And you see that the market has already responded to this level here with support during this period, coming back and showing support again over the last two, three days. So as long as those two lines are holding, and again, let me draw those lines. As long as those two lines are holding, line number one is right there. And then line number two, is the line connecting RSI lows. As long as the market is holding above those two lines, we have to look at this market as potentially going to bounce before it can make before it can make any move lower. Otherwise, a clear break of those two lines would suggest that now we are truly set for a move lower, which we haven't seen. So we have to assume that this is good enough support to help the market recover after a slight pullback over the last two, three weeks. If you take a look at the Dow from a hourly chart here, and here I'm using RSI setting of 26. So the RSI setting here is 26. Of course, most charts will have RSI setting of 14, but just keep in mind I'm using 26 here. And what we see is that off the lows here, this corresponds with the RSI moving above this range and so we draw a line from there pretty much somewhere around there if you take a look at some of the lows in the market they've come every time the market has hit this level for example support here for the lows there and the market did move higher we held this general area here the market made an improvement on the rsi there and of course we know that after that positive divergence the market did see a little bit of a move higher and coming back and showing support again in the current market here and again here one has to assume that the hourly charts are suggesting to continue expecting a bounce in the market for now if you take a look at the Dow 30 minute chart you see slight lower lows but the market has come off the lows while these lows were being formed we see as an improvement in the RSI and that positive divergence might be the reason why the market is not holding on to lows and recovering off the lows of the last two days on Thursday and on Friday. If we take a look at the Dow Transports, you can see that it's offering nice support on the daily. 
the line connecting RSI lows is coming into play very nicely here and also we can see coming off the lows here the RSI did move out of a range somewhere there and that's bringing the market off the lows for the Dow transports the lows of January we can draw a line from there which should give us future buy buy points if the market bounces on those lines and we can see it bounced here for those lows and a move higher coming here and showing support on the same line so again let me draw that again so you can see it it's a simple line it's right there and you can see support here for the lows right there and again support here for the lows here so day to day it seems like markets are doing their best to hold and start bouncing now just a quick reminder when the markets were trying to move here in a in april we had noticed that this movement in price did not correspond to the rsi which made a lower low and of course that negative divergence did bring the attention to the fact that here we might have seen a pullback and that's exactly what we got so we are coming back here and the market is showing that it is finding support on those two lines and as long as those two lines are holding one has to assume that the next swing trade for markets is actually for now to the upside take a look at the nasdaq and also coming back right now even though the market did trade lower for most of friday session we can see that the market is coming back to test the rsi lows line right there so if this line can hold we've seen it hold for the dow transports and one can expect the market to bounce based on support on this line and of course if support does not hold if support does not hold and that's if or when the market does break through support here then that is when we can expect a pullback for now we have to assume that this is where the market finds support for the next swing trade which could be to the ups take a look at the s p 500 simple line again connecting rsi lows is coming into play so we are either gonna get a nice bounce on the line here and a move higher in price or over the next couple of days the market might actually break that line and that break is when we are going to see the market stage a huge drop for now looks like the market is doing its best to hold that line so we have to assume that for now the next swing trade in the market is potentially to the upside so that's the day to day expectation but if we flip the script here and take a look at the monthly chart so long term picture let's go to the monthly here we can see that for now the S&P 500 has failed to hold above the previous monthly closing high so there was a breakout attempt here that is failing so right there the market did attempt to move above the previous or the current all-time monthly closing high and the level we were watching there for a potential breakout was 2107.39 so the market has tried on multiple occasions and failed it failed here last year failed again here all these were multiple attempts to try and move above the previous monthly closing high but we've been rejected throughout all these months so that's not good and if you take a look at the nasdaq monthly there's an argument here that month to month this market has already given us a sell signal and it's a simple line coming off this recent break so this trend line break if you extend that line you can see that the market has come back to back test that blue line and is failing which might explain why we are about we are already down about three percent this month already so this is a sell signal as far as the monthly chart is concerned take a look at the dow and this is 13 years worth of monthly data for the nasdaq and also for the dow we can see that the dow also looks like it is potentially giving us a sell signal on the monthly which month to month might not be good for the market it's a simple break this break here in 2015 has brought the market off the highs so we draw a line from there it should be somewhere around there so for now it looks like the market is already responding to that level 
by showing rejection. So as long as the monthly charts look bearish, month to month, this market continues to be bearish. Otherwise, day to day for now, one can expect a swing trade if the daily charts confirm support as we have discussed in this video. Of course, I'll keep you guys posted. Otherwise, subscribers, be on the lookout for part two of this weekend's market analysis. We should be ready sometime on Sunday. Good luck, peace, and blessings. I am out for now. Woo! E-A-C-S.